On today's Growth Points, I want to talk about helping people who don't want to be helped. Do you ever have anybody like that in your life or ministry? Someone that uh, you are sensing really needs some guidance, some encouragement, some love, uh, but they don't sense it themselves. You know, the Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 5.12 that uh, spiritual members and spiritual people are to know them uh, who labor among them and admonish them in the Lord. Uh, the church family is, is commanded to acknowledge the spiritual leadership in their lives, but you probably have already discovered that doesn't always happen. Uh, I've found probably three categories of people when it comes to these kinds of issues and when it comes to receiving uh, counsel or direction. First of all, I deal with people who, who come to me and they ask me if I see anything in their life and they ask me for counsel uh, to help them overcome. And uh, those are the folks that, that are sensitive to that issue and that relationship, not only with God, but with their pastor and uh, wanting to grow. Then there are people who uh, discover that there's a problem through a trial or discomfort or, or they're just confused about something. And so they come and they ask for counsel. And then thirdly, there are those who have turmoil and a problem, but they don't come and ask for counsel. And so you have those that are asking and, and uh, sensitive and wanting to help. You have those that don't really think about it till the problem comes. Then you have those that are in a quandary and a difficulty, but they don't come to you uh, in the sense of truly seeking counsel. So what do you do with people that don't seek your admonishment or seek your uh, guidance? They don't uh, know you as you labor among them. Let me give you a couple quick thoughts today. Uh, with these types of people. First of all, they're not all rebellious. They may be truly in a state of confusion or uh, going through a lot of conflicting uh, pressures in their life. And so the first thing I would tell you to do is be patient with them. Uh, try to give them some, some room. Let them know you love them. You're praying for them. And that's the second, the second principle today is to pray for them. Uh, you normally, as a pastor, would pray for your flock or a Sunday school teacher for your Sunday school class, well, pray a little extra for them. If you sense they're in a state of pressure or confusion, they're not letting you be a part of working that out, uh, spend time in prayer on their behalf. And then thirdly, I think it's very important that we model joy uh, and that we, we model faithfulness before folks that are kind of in a, in a stalled state spiritually or uh, in a quandary. I think... Uh, we, we pull over and we come to them and try to help, but if that's not being received, there are people who need the Lord, there's a work world that needs Christ, there's a work that needs to be done. Sometimes people in that situation, uh, they need to see others working out their own salvation with fear and trembling. And so be patient with people that are more reluctant to get your counsel, um, then pray for them and then model the Christian life before them. Now, someone says, at what point do you intervene and, and go to them and confront a need or something? That's only when their quandary is beginning to affect the spirit of others. That's only when their quandary turns into uh, negativity, if you will. Otherwise, uh, if they're not knowing you that labor among them, uh, give them some time. And rather than try to say, hey, I'm over here, uh, the Lord can direct them. And uh, I know that in many cases that's been how it's worked for me in the ministry, that God has uh, taken those who, who do have some trials, they haven't been seeking particularly counsel from me or even our pastoral staff, but through the course of life, they realize that necessity. And so I pray that God will help you to help those who don't always uh, know they need help and encouragement through your faithfulness, your prayers, and your patience this week. Have a great day.